Welcome back. Tree encoding, uh, it's mainly used for evolving programs or expressions, right? For mainly for genetic programming. Now, in tree encoding, every chromosome is a tree of some objects, such as maybe functions or commands in a certain programming language. So if you look at this example chromosome here, right, this is a mathematical expression, and it's saying, if you remember the precedence of the parentheses, this is saying divide 5 by y first, and then the output of that uh, operation add it to x, or together it with, uh, with x, right? So it's saying here, we have the plus uh, symbol, and then we have x here as input, and then we have the, the division symbol, the, the slash, and there it's saying 5 and 1. So these are variables and these are uh, uh, operators, right? So we'll have to carry out this process first, this operation first, and then the result we add it to x. We can use that as like a tree structure to represent this uh, mathematical expression. Or maybe for a programming language, for example, if we have uh, take a step, or do until, like a loop, and then wall, we can represent these you know these statements or these co uh, coding uh, 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 constructs as a tree right so the tree encoding is good for evolving programs the programming language Lisp for example is often used uh, for this because programs in it are represented in this form and can be easily parsed as a tree so the crossover and mutation can be done relatively easily right so as, we say, so as it says here programming language Lisp is often used for, 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 for this. Um, an example problem is when we try to find a function from some given values, right? So the problem is that we have some input and output values. So we have inputs and outputs, and we, would try, we want to try to find a function that maps those inputs to those outputs. The task is to find a function which will give the best or at least the closest to the desired output to all inputs, right? At least, you know, the best or the closest to the desired uh, output to all solutions. We'll try to find a function here. And the encoding will be as follows. The chromosomes will be functions represented in a tree. So functions represented in a tree. I mean, you can think of this as, it is actually a mathematical function, right? You could say f equals x plus, then parenthesis, 5, divide 5 slash y, right? And then you close the parentheses. So that's a mathematical function or a mathemat mathematical expression. And here the chromosomes will be functions represented as a as trees, right? So each chromosome will be a tree. I hope that makes sense. Right, let me stop here. Uh, so we spoke about several kinds of, of rep representation or encoding. The easiest one is the binary. And then we spoke about permutation. Uh, encoding value encoding tree encoding in the next video we start speaking about selection thanks again and i'll see you next time